boom we're back we're in it tonight and by in it I mean I'm in my pajamas that's where I'm at that's where I'm at spiritually and literally I'm literally in my pajamas guys oh we're back with a favorites video should I sit up should I crouch down should I get in with the people I don't know but I'm here to tell you about the stuff that I'm loving and let me just tell you that looking down upon the curation of these things, just looking at it, is giving me so much joy. It's giving me a real zip. So, on with the show, shall we? Okay, I thought that was gonna be more. It wasn't. Okay, first up that I have been absolutely obsessing over, her her ring this month is this. This is one of the glitter singles from Wet n Wild. This one is in the color Bleached. It's super pretty. It's like this green, gold, and pink glitter, and it's in kind of a stickier base, so you don't need to use primer or any of that, any of that jazz to just stick it to yourself. I'm wearing it on my eyelids right now, but you can just place it right over eyeshadows or anything like that, and it's just gonna stick right on. These are 99 cents. They have a few different colors, a beautiful gold, silver, red, um, but this one is my favorite. This bleach color is my favorite. It's so pretty. Stick it to yourself. Next up is another bargain basement favorite. Whoa, calm down guys. These four, I've talked about ColourPop eyeshadows before and I think they are magnificent. However, they just came out with a set called Where the Night Is and the colors, you guys, they are unbelievable. This one might be my favorite. This one is called Telepathy and I don't know if you can see, it's like this like freaking chartreuse, like, ugh. Oh. It looks like some like kind of Alice in Wonderland color. Like, get ready. Boom. Look at how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, they're so, 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 so pretty. This one is in the color Porter. It's like a mulberry shade. What's the color of a mulberry, you ask? Then we have Midnight, which is I don't know, how would you describe this color? Like a blackish green with gold shimmer in it? Gorgeous, just really unusual color picks. I'm just like, ooh. And then this sort of rosy, they call it a rose gold. I'll say coppery, rosy, just delightful deliciousness. The color of shadows are awesome. If you have not gotten on that train, get on the train it's a cheap train they're five bucks each but yeah they're super super beautiful this is the most train wreck swatch of a hand but that's okay i just want you to see the colors i want you to experience what i'm experiencing i want you to see through my eyes so uh from the bargain basement up on to the east side i have two i have so fallen in love with these eye colors this month. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm having a real Charlotte Tilbury freaking moment. These are her eyes to mesmerize. It's a cream eyeshadow. It's more of a mousse. This is the color Marie Antoinette. It's more of a like a golden sort of a gilded taupe I would say. And then you have Jean. This color. This is the most beautiful inner corner highlight. Just, I mean, it just adds friggin' magic. It's beautiful, it's warm, it's slightly pink, slightly gold. It's just, I mean, these have the most beautiful texture. They stay on really well. They don't dry down to a waterproof finish, but they're designed to adhere to the lid. They're just such such beautiful colors and textures. Like, if you can get your hands on these to try them, they're so, so beautiful. Next, for eyes, this is a brand that's new to me. It's the same old story. Girl sees eyeshadow, girl falls in love, eyeshadow gets into a bag and goes home with her. Uh, after girl pays for it girl has to pay for love. That's the, that's the moral of the story. This is the Prismatique Eyes set from Troy Surratt. I just found this out. He was actually an apprentice to Kevin O'Quan, who is my favorite makeup artist of all time. 
There are two products in here. So you have, first of all, I got the color Mesmerize. So you get this little pot on top. You get a pot of, I mean, this is, once this dries, this is waterproof. This little eyeshadow base, it's like this army green. You see that? I honestly do not have any other color in any texture like this in, in all of my makeup collections. And I got a lot of makeup. But it's this beautiful army green, and then in the bottom, you, you top that up, you cork that up, you put the top back on, and then in the bottom, what? You have this, which is like a beige that also reflects green and gold. And so on its own, totally beautiful. And then over the green, can you see that? How beautiful is that? I've just been swatching it over and over like a little kid, just like, just going in and playing with it and going like, oh, it's so pretty, like all month. That's pathetic. You know, maybe next month I'll wear it. But right now I just love staring at it. So next. Let's go straight to tools. So when I got my Charlotte Tilbury stuff, the girl, of course, was like putting makeup on me and everything like that, and I was like, oh. But this is the Powder and Sculpt brush. Uh, can you see the tip of that? It's fluffy, but it comes to a point. I've been using this for everything. I've been using this for touching up my powder, setting my makeup in the morning. I've been using this for highlight. I've also been using this for a sharper contour, if that's something that I want right in here. Like, right on that cheekbone. But this is just a great sort of multi-purpose brush that I've been using for a ton of things. It's super soft and I don't have anything like this in my brush collection. And I have a lot of brushes but this this shape is really versatile. I just, I like it. I like you. Solid addition to my collection. Sorry if I have like murderer hair. I'm gonna try and keep it clean for you guys. I'm gonna try and keep it super smooth, super clean. Ooh yeah. Okay. Next from Charlotte, okay, this brush. This, this brush, I feel almost evangelical about this brush. Like this brush, I almost jammed it up my nose. This is her lip brush, and it is the best lip brush that I have ever used, ever, ever, ever in my life. First of all, it's thicker right here, so the brushes only bend back and forth, right? They don't twist around, they don't get to a weird little point where you're like scraping off the lipstick instead of brushing it on. They stay nice and flat. There's enough brush bristles to actually pick up pigment and smooth it on evenly. It is the most perfect, like church sermons need to be written about an artistic tool like this. The artistic tool, I love I love this brush so much. As soon as the girl at the counter used this on my mouth, I was like, oh my God. I like took her hand. <laughs> I took her hand and like lifted it away from my mouth and I was like, what is this brush? Like it just applies color so perfectly. And Charlotte Tilbury herself actually said that she designed them after her father's set of brushes because he's a painter. It, I mean, it's just so much thought put into this line. It, it's so beautiful, but this lip brush is like, yo. Like, yo. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just got jiggy with it there, but I'm really emotional about that brush. I don't know if you can tell. Next, because those brushes are like $32 a piece. Let's go low, let's go back low with these Jamalams. If you see these freaking wet and wild brushes, just grab them all. They are between 99 cents and I believe $2.99 is the most that I've paid for one of these brushes. They are incredibly soft. I use this one every day. I don't know if you can tell because it's all brown. I use this one every day for putting on my foundation. I use this one as like a bronzer. You can use this for powder if you want to, but I usually use the Charlotte Tilbury one to set everything, to set all my makeup with, but this one is a great bronzing brush for me. Uh, light contouring, a blending out, like whatever you want. Such, such a good, soft, most excellent brush. This brush, this kind of fluffy guy, just get a couple of these. You can do everything with a brush like this. 
with kind of a fluffy rounded tip like this you can apply eyeshadow blend out your eyeshadow you can contour your nose if you're into that kind of thing you can dip it into your concealer and conceal any zits or scars or whatever like you can do all kinds of things with a brush like this this is freaking 99 cents wet and wild they just came out with these brushes and they are phenomenal they are so 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 good I'm so impressed just Bravo. Clap, 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 clap. I guess I could just clap instead of saying the word clap. That's for you, Wet n Wild. You guys know how I feel. Also from Wet n Wild, I know, I know. Get a room, Monica and Wet n Wild. The Illuminati, like you're being naughty, like you're naughty. The Illuminati highlighting and concealing pen. I ran out of my beloved MAC Prep and Prime highlighting pen. And I was like, man, that's gonna be like 20 something dollars to replace. That sucks. And then I went to the drugstore and I saw these guys. These have just come out. I have it in the shade A Happy Medium. They're the same kind of concept, like a little brush top kind of deal. I use this under my eyes. This one has a lot more coverage than the MAC one. It's great actually because if you have very dark circles, um, it has the right kind of tone. It has that kind of peachy, like peachy undertone. It's not a straight up peach, but it has like a peachy undertone. It has a warmth to it. Uh, it has a warmth to it that will help neutralize your under eye. But these, like once I used it, I ran out and got two more because I was like, I don't know that I can be without this pen. And a great alternative for you if you don't want to get the MAC one. So this is $4.99 Illuminati Highlighting Concealing Pen from uh, Wet n Wild. Super, super good. I actually blend that out with this guy. This is the Morphe G2 brush. I think I heard about this. Where did I hear about this? Patrick Star, perhaps? someone doing some kind of drag makeup when I put this on here because I'm used to a little less coverage I like to blend it out with this brush because it just kind of like blurs it all in and blurs the edges it helps me because of the, the pointy tip it kind of helps me get in here I feel like this is an area of concealing where people forget a lot of the times but it gets kind of bluish green in here for me at least and so I like to push that concealer right up with here and this just kind of blends it out and just gives me the perfect amount of like zaza. Super soft again, just a nice hand feel. I don't know, but this is a really good brush. It's the G2 from Morphe. Oh my gosh, I've been in love with Morphe, but they make, they make a good brush, I gotta say. They make a good brush. Oh my gosh, I'm really warm right now. <sighs> This is what I get for being in all this knitwear. So let's get on to lips. Oh, if you see these on display, these are the Rimmel The Only One lipsticks. They're brand new. They are amazing. They are amazing. So they don't have that many colors, so it's not gonna be overwhelming for you to pick one out but or three <clears throat> they go on really really moisturizing and then they sort of set when i first put them on i was like mm, okay like this is gonna be really slick but they set to like this really intense cream finish very hydrating they stay on like crazy so beautiful my favorite colors are pink of punch this one that i just swatched for you this sort of mauve color and this is called it's a keeper it is gorgeous on my gosh it's so beautiful and this is my number one favorite color out of the whole line it's called call me crazy and it is like this crazy bright reddish orange oh my gosh these lipsticks they smell like watermelon that's a yay or nay for some people just depending on who you are but they are incredible like really 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 good lipsticks next lip okay this is a line that i've actually never tried and i don't know why because i love iman she's freaking stunning but this is an iman lipstick i got it in the color iman nude and that's what i'm wearing right now but it is the perfect like yellow brown sort of deep nude color this would also just be very incredibly glowing on darker skin and deeper lip tones would be so so beautiful put a little gold gloss on top of that my 
backdrop. Telling you. Telling you. I don't know what that is. Now these. These are amazing. I'm wearing this one today. These are from Girlactic. Galactic Beauty and these are their face glows. They are their highlighting powders. Do you see this? You have, what is this, bronze, natural, natural, which just blends out. It reminds me actually a lot of the um, Hourglass highlighting powders. You see that? Biz! Doink! Luster, what I'm wearing today. This one gives you that really kind of wet shine but it's a champagne color so it's not icy you know it's not gonna look white on your face but natural this one it actually gives you like this really really beautiful lit from within type of a thing and this packaging too it's like it is uh, it's very satisfying I don't know perfect sort of throw in your bag they feel nice and substantial it feels luxurious like it's nice and then my last one that I have absolutely been loving I'm wearing it right now I've had dreams about this perfume. This is from Frederick Mal, and it is called L'Eau d'Hiver. This is what I want my kids to think of when they think about their mom. I don't have kids, but when I do, this is what I want them to smell and think of me. Is that weird? I don't know. I mean, it smells like you got a really good hug from someone that's wearing a really soft sweater. It's sweet, it's fresh, it smells like the winter time. It smells like winter. It is so beautiful. And like this like badass packaging, like my knees kind of buckled when I went up to the register and bought it, but like I literally dreamt about this perfume. My favorite, favorite perfume was Bulgari Wall de Jasmine. Wall de Jasma, and they discontinued it, but it, it's incredible. And this one I smelled on a lady when I used to work in a store, and I followed her around the store, and I was like, can you please tell me what you're wearing? And she was like, oh yes, I just went to Barney's and got these little vials. And the little vials, the little like sample-sized vials that she got, I don't even want to tell you how much they were. But I smelled it, and I was just like, oh my god. It's, it's like that Bulgari perfume, but just a little bit richer, a little, it has a little more depth to it. I could talk about this forever. I have been talking about this forever. When's this video gonna be over? I just wanna spray it on myself all the time. I already like doused myself in it, but it's so, 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 so nice. This is like a lifer. As much makeup as I get, I'm very like fly by night with makeup, but with perfume, I'm like signature scent all the way. Like I don't like having a lot of perfumes. It makes me feel like, Ugh. I've been using it so much and like dousing myself in it, so I'm glad to see that it hasn't gone down too much. So this is L'Eau d'Hiver. I love you so very much, bonjour. I smell you forever. And that was it, you guys. Hopefully I haven't looked too sweaty for you. I'm so flippin' hot and the heater just came on again. So I have to go turn that off immediately. I'm very warm. But let me know what your favorites for the month were so we can just like talk about this, you know. I look forward to seeing your comments like every video. I'm so excited for us to chat and for me to get to know you. So like keep it coming if you like this. Yeah. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.